What is going on Lucid fans? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So when it comes down to 2023, I think majority of the demand is going to be very much generated from the peer as what they've been saying since Q2 2022. So I want to break down some updates as far as the peer and over and above that, Peter's always said about Lucid's technology being next level. And of course, that goes very much back down to the battery. So I want to break it down on how Lucid is still being very much showcased as the next level technology. So I'm going to go over all the stuff you need to know. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And without further ado, let's get right to it. So on the actual chart, still well below a lot of the pivotal moving averages, currently at $7.57, down 3.32%. And it is down today because because of the quad witching day on which it is one of the four days so March the 17th and that is where a lot of these derivatives all expire on the exact same day so there's extreme amount of volatility typically when it comes down to that and of course when there is a lot of volatility there typically is a lot of shorts so as you can see today there is 400,000 shares being increased today and in the grand scheme of things, I think that's not that bad in reality because currently there's 132.76 million shares being shorted, almost around 21% of the free float is being shorted and looking at cost of borrow starting to pick back up a little bit. But as you can see right here, the return shares, they are starting to return a little bit more share. So it was uh, being more heavily shorted first thing in the morning. But like I've said in the past, when it comes down to Lucid, it does have everything fundamentally available for a good squeeze. The only thing it's typically missed out on is a surprise catalyst. And in Lucid's case, the only thing that most likely is going to be coming in 2023 is two things. One of which is a gravity uh, unveiling. So this is where they're going to be starting their reservations. That in reality, that I think the success of that is going to very much depend on the price because of course if it's 150,000 or 149.9 or whatever it is then I think the market is going to be seeing that as a negative versus if it's for instance 120 or potentially less then I think the market is going to really like that so I think in general there's going to be that attribute and then when it comes down to it there's also the peer and based on this, so let's go Lucid did post this on Twitter and this is just more so from Bearish Workshop flyover from the 15th, but it goes to show looks like a lot of peers. And like I said, I think the peer is a very good thing. They've been saying this since Q2, I think of 2022, that the majority of the reservations are very much linked to the peer. The market desperately wants a lower priced vehicle and the peer is Lucid's answer for that. So when it comes down to the peer, it also does work in in line with Lucid's marketing aspect. So of course, Lucid's marketing aspect is very much word of mouth. So the more of these peers that do get out into the wild as what people typically call the world, then it's just going to help Lucid's marketing so much more. And of course, if Lucid does have a lot of good success with the peer out in Europe, then that's just going to escalate so much more. But once again, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. Like I said, I think this is going to be one of the biggest drivers for Lucid in 2023 and probably will make up the majority of all the revenue in 2023 as well. So let me know your thoughts on that. I'm very much excited for that as well. But moving on, like I said, when it comes down to Peter, he frequently likes to talk on the whole technology bit and why Lucid stands out and is decades ahead of even the next best competitor. And he said that in the Q4 earnings, which of course he insinuated Tesla, but Lucid has a very good competitive advantage over his competitors. And as you can tell, it looks like uh, LG is still showcasing the battery technology through Ford and also Lucid EVs at their uh, Seoul Battery Show. And it looks like that is going to be showcased between March the 15th and the 17th in Seoul. So I think in general, it's pretty good. Even considering though, LG and Lucid don't necessarily have their agreement anymore because of course we already do know that this was announced I think in December, yeah, December the 13th. Panasonic and Lucid now have the agreement for Panasonic to supply the lithium ion batteries for the future vehicles. So I think in general, that's pretty cool. The fact that LG is still showcasing Lucid's technology and Lucid's vehicles as being pretty much the best attribute for them. So in reality, I absolutely love seeing things like this. Um, but generally speaking, I'll give you other uh, updates. Other than that, there is no specific Lucid news for that. So potentially right now, a little bit of silence, I guess, isn't the worst thing. But of course, the Fed interest rate decision is coming out on the 
22nd. So probably a little bit more volatility up until that point. As you can tell, based on the options activity, you do see a lot of uh, randomness. So you do, with the exception of this right here, you see a lot of more calls being purchased. But as right here, this one is about 56,000 in calls being purchased. And this one is about 50,000 in puts. So most likely based on the volume, this is just an institution kind of hedging their bets. So this is uh, within a five minute candle. So clearly it just wasn't done in five minutes. This is why it's uh, showing us two. But outside of that, as far as the dark pool, you can see that there is a lot of transactions kind of in line with the norm as of late. And these are all the transactions so far on the secondary market. Once again, it goes to show that big money for the most part isn't buying as much as they used to be doing roughly about two weeks ago. So clearly a lot of people are very much feared about the broader economy and things like that. But this is where, as you can tell, looking at stochastic, it is still very much oversold at 16 number of retail investors are clearly getting out so behind the scenes there's still a lot of fear but i think generally speaking like i already said long term lucid is going to do a lot of good things especially with this new agreement with panasonic and also the peer being kind of unleashed into the world i think that's going to be a very exciting time for lucid going forward but like i said based on the technicals some things to watch for is that seven dollar and four cent range um, in reality so that is the s2 right here and in theory though lucid isn't doing that bad it's currently trading between s1 and s2 a lot of other grow stocks as as of this week are now trading between the S3 and the S2. So in general, I think that's a pretty positive sign that Lucid's kind of holding its value a little bit better than a lot of other comparable growth stocks as well. So once again, you guys can make your own determination on that and if that's positive or negative, but I think here on out, it will continue to trade up until the 22nd, until the interest rate decision uh, between the S2 and the S1, on which if it is positive, then most likely it'll break past the S1 into higher. If not, then it'll break below. Um, so in reality, I think it'll all come down to that. So in the end though, let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments below. If you haven't already hit that thumbs up and subscribe, I always greatly appreciate that. One final thing, even though Lucid is a little bit more red today, what you can do, you can get some free shares and that is through Moomoo. So all you have to do, open up account, link in the description below or the comments, just open up an account and you get one free stock. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. So even just doing that is kind of a no brainer. The promo only is until March the 31st. So guys, make sure you guys take advantage of that. Link in the description below and also the comments. If you want to throw $100 at it as well, you clearly, as you can see, get some free stock, including AI and also BBAI, and then also four free stocks as well. And those free four stocks still kind of get that 2000 each stock as well. So like I said, it's kind of a no-brainer. Let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments below. And without further ado, I appreciate you guys watching. Let's all make a lot of money on Lucid.